Hi, everyone. I'm Christina from That Canadian Teacher. You all asked and now you shall receive. I asked on my Instagram what you wanted to see next in my D2L hack series, and you all overwhelmingly wanted to know how to easily set up and link grades to your D2L gradebook. So this video is for you. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it under two minutes, but hopefully under five is okay. If you want to learn more teaching tips and tricks, especially for a social sciences or history classroom, go ahead and give me a follow on my social medias. So let's get started. This is your D2L hack on how to enter and use grades in D2L in under five minutes. So first you want to go to your grades section in D2L. Once you're there, it should default, I believe, to the setup wizard page. Now you're going to go through the setup wizard and you're going to adjust all of these to what you want it to be. Now I'll put on the screen what I use and what works for me, but this may not work for you. So just use your judgment as you're moving through the setup wizard to make sure that it's something that works for you in your classroom. One thing you want to remember in D2L, when you see grade scheme symbol, what this is referring to is percentages. So what teachers would call a percentage, D2L calls grade scheme symbol. So when you're finished the setup wizard, you're going to get this screen. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to create new grade category. This is where you're going to be entering in your categories that you use. So for me, I use knowledge, thinking, communication, application, and we're going to call this knowledge. And then you're going to put in the weighting. So for me, the weighting is 17.5%. For distribution, you're going to need to decide whether you want to manually assign weights or distribute the weights. For me, I distribute the weights. So you can see here that it's added in the knowledge with the weighting that I've assigned it. Um, if you see this here at the top, uh, this is just to tell you that you have not achieved the 100% and that you need all of your categories to equal 100%. Now, if you want to add in another category, you just come up to the new and hit category. So you can see here that I've mistakenly put in application twice. To get rid of that, you're just going to make sure that you select it and then you're going to come up here to more actions and just delete it and then select it again. So you can see that that error message has now disappeared. All of my categories now equal 100%. So let's say I have an assignment that is evaluating knowledge and thinking. So what I want to do is I'm going to enter in new and then I'm going to do item instead of category. This is going to pop up. You're going to decide which you want to do um, depending on how you grade. For me, I use numeric. So I'm going to call this unit one assignment. I'm going to assign it a category. So in this case, let's say it's knowledge and let's say it's out of 15, that knowledge category. So then you can manage your display options. So remember grade scheme symbol is percentage and how you want to be viewing it. So if you want to see the points, which is what I usually like to see, you can also check that off. So you can see it's added in now the 15 marks for knowledge. Now let's say I have an assignment that is only evaluating one category and I want to make my life easier to just automatically import it over to grades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my new assignment. So let's say I want to make it out of 15 marks and I want to link it to something that's in my grade book already. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to edit or link to existing. So it's going to ask me to choose a category. So I might put it in, let's say, we'll say it's in, in thinking, it's a thinking project. And then I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to save and close. Now you can certainly adjust your due dates and all that. And if we come back to our grade section and if you go to manage grades, you will see there's the assignment. Now it has the little one there because I wasn't very creative and so there's two unit one assignments, um, but you get the picture here and you'll see a student has submitted something. So I'm going to evaluate it. And this is where you're going to enter in. So once you've evaluated, of course, you're going to put in the mark. So let's say I give the student 14 out of 15. You can save the draft and publish at a later date or you can publish it immediately. Once it's published immediately, the marks will automatically transfer over to the grade book. And so what will happen once the grades have transferred over? Now, I don't have any users in this particular shell, but you would see the user's name and then under thinking in this case, you would see the 14 out of 15 uh, mark will automatically be transported over here. So that's for assignments. So let's say that you want to transfer over marks from a quiz. So when I go in to create my test, you're going to come to assessment. And then what you're going to do is you're going to either select an already established grade item. So if you've already created it in that other tab that we saw, that we created that unit one assignment under knowledge, you can attach it there or you can add a grade item. So because I'm calling this a communication test, I'm going to create a new category and a new item line. So let's call it the communication test. And I'm going to put it into the category of communication. And let's say it's out of 20. I'm going to click save. So once you've decided on your grade item, you can choose 
one of these or both of them if you so desire. So automatically publishing means that when the student has finished writing the test, then they will automatically receive their results. So in something that might be a multiple choice test where they uh, can get the immediate answer, this would be what you would click off for that. For synchronized to gradebook, this is going to make it connected to your gradebook as soon as you publish the answers. So the first is whether you want the student to know the answers right away or not. And the second one is to publish to the gradebook once you have published them. So you can see here that I have communications test. Now let's go to our grades and have a look. So if I go to manage grades again, because again, I don't have users, you're going to see that it's added it here. So once I've finished marking the test and I published the results, the results would actually show up under your edit, enter grade section, you will see them already populated. So this is what it would look like if you had all of your grade items uh, linked and inside of it. So anytime you see the little question mark, that just means that it's linked to a specific um, uh, task. So in, in this case, it's attached to a quiz. This is what it would look like in the student side. So you can see that you have all of the tasks and the uh, possibility for mark entry on the right hand side here. If I want to enter in marks, so let's say I want to uh, manually enter in marks for this particular assignment in the knowledge category, I'm going to come to the down arrow and I'm going to select enter grade. And so what you can do is you can manually enter in the grades. Once you hit enter, it will move to the next line. Um, and you can also provide feedback on the right hand side if you want to. It automatically defaults to showing the final grade. So if you only have one grade item, obviously their mark is going to be very inflated. So if you want to take away their ability to see their final grade, so you see it has the little eyeball that's crossed out, you're going to select the down arrow and you're going to hit enter grades. Now what you're going to see here on the right hand side is released and it's going to default to being checked off. You're just going to want to unselect it and then click save and close. And that's your quick and easy way of entering grades into D2L. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like and leave a comment down below. Good luck with your marking. <laughs> Bye.